understand how any Negro feels under segregation, you have to realize that from the time of infancy, he has it pounded into him that he's not as good as other people. There are things he cannot do. Don't do this, you can't do this, you can't do the other. It um, builds into a man a feeling of inferiority, a feeling of frustration, a feeling of resentment. So much bitterness built up in a person and resentment when you know that you're being segregated against simply because you're black and there's nothing that you can do about it. There is something you're trying to do about it. But. These students are typical of many throughout the country, both Negro and white, who have been effective in breaking the barriers of segregation. Sense the confidence and dedication of these young people as they discuss their plans talking about was the possibility of spending your Christmas in jail. I think the most beautiful thing that we could do would be to stage a mass sit-in or some type of demonstration and if they did not serve us to remain until they served us. If arrested to go in jail and refuse bail. That's what I think will um, have a, a much larger impact than just mere arrest. I'd like to hear your comments on it and see exactly what you think and how you feel about it. Tommy? We've been getting public sympathy, but not enough by just going in and coming out. And if we decide to spend Christmas in jail, then I'll go. That's all. How many people would actually feel committed enough right now that if it came to this, they would spend their time in jail over the Christmas holidays? Through the years, Negroes have always protested against segregation. But what you see here is an example of a new spirit.